What's up, Sergio? We're uh, Magnaflux <laughs> in the day. We're playing in the tent, the black lights. We got some pretty cool stuff here. Um, some Nissan GTR cranks that they were pushing pretty hard. And they wanted to check them for cracks. Since they felt like they were on the edge, getting some block modifications done. Um, sure enough, they were on the edge. So what we have here, you can't even see with your naked eye, but we have some cracks starting. Right where that arrow's at. Completely invisible with the naked eye, very obvious with Magnaflux. Right, so, and it even started cracking on the back side just slightly. Just started in these corners, and that's kind of in the weakest part of the crankshaft, so I'm not really surprised. Um, there it is. Yeah, they're a little tough to see on this side, they're not as pronounced. But you can see that's where the overlap's happening, these two different rod journals. And it's also doing it up the front in the exact same spots. And we have another crankshaft in here. So yeah, show us what you're looking at inside this tent. So we have a little bit different lighting here. It's got another arrow drawn. Kind of see it right there on in that scene. Yep, there it is. So so magnafluxing allows us to uh, make apparent micro cracks or cracks in crankshafts that may not be visible with the naked eye um, or even with like, a, you know, even under magnification. Um, so the goal of the magnaflux is to highlight areas where there are cracks. So and it's not just for cranks. We have a, one of our connecting rods here, too. This oh yeah. is in looks, it, uh, looks small block Ford. Looks pretty fine, but... That was a high dollar rod too. Mm -hmm. uh, it's nice stuff. But then hit it with the Magnaflux, and you can see right up there, there's a good old crack coming up from the center, going out the side. Yeah, and it goes all the way around the beam. You can see it in there. All the way around, yep. And it goes up into this oiling hole inside the pin area too, um, on the inside of the Oh yeah, right the there. Board. Yep, there it is, and then without the light, pretty much can't see anything. You can see a little bit inside the pin bore, but you can't see the, the right. severity of it that it goes all the way around. You would think it was maybe just a line in the pin bore. And that's pretty scary because we were planning to reuse these rods also. Right. So, so that could be disastrous. Exactly. Same thing with the, uh, the crankshaft. They were intending to, I already drilled it to add weights in there. I was planning to add weights and luckily we were able to magnaflux them. Right. So find that. So then you don't have high dollar things coming apart, even low dollar things, you know, but especially with these high dollar parts, really double checking them, making sure we're not putting something back together that's just gonna come apart on someone again. That's that's the key. Right, right. Right. So especially stuff that you're pushing pretty hard. Like yeah. this is stock crankshaft and I mean once you're over a thousand horsepower on stock parts. Yeah. It's, it just doesn't you, you know run, these things happen, you know? <laughs> yeah. I guess it's time to call up Brian, get you a build crank. <laughs> stock stuff ain't doing it anymore. There you go. Well, thank you, Sergio. Yep.